was talking about earlier. So you stick your business card in. What's going on everyone? Uh, so it is Wednesday, uh, currently outside. Uh, the weather, not good, right? Um, negative 10 degrees feels like negative 30. And so this might lead a question. Uh, if you look at the forecast here, it's gonna be high of three, low of negative three, then tomorrow 21, Friday 39. And then we're into 47, 55, and 56. So we might hear this question, and I'm sure you might be thinking uh, about this question as well. Will this polar vortex affect our crabgrass pre-emergent application we have coming up scheduled here for a couple weeks? Because if you look back to one of my previous videos, what we were talking about you need to get that crabgrass pre-emergent down before soil temperatures get to 55 degrees. Well, then you look at the forecast and you're like, okay, this weekend it's going to be above 55 degrees. What does that mean? Realistically, it's not going to do a whole lot, okay? The soil temperature is not going to come close to 55 degrees. It's got to be consistent uh, for several days, even weeks. Once this uh, temperature does rise, it's going to take a while for the ground to start thawing out. Now, you think about crabgrass application timing, when the best time to do uh, your crabgrass application, and there really is a specific best day for you to do your application. But if you're a lawn care company that has, you know, several customers, several hundred customers, several thousand customers, you can't do your crabgrass application on just one specific day of the year and get them all knocked out in one day. Uh, that's totally unrealistic. So what we do in the industry here, uh, we, we, we do what's called split applications. Uh, so our customers that we start on earlier in the year, so around probably beginning of March, uh, they're going to actually get most likely two applications of crabgrass pre-emergent. They're going to get the first application with round one and then round two we're going to come back and hit them again uh, with a stronger pre-emergent, the dimension, uh, that's the active ingredient there uh, that we'll use in round two just to make sure we get good crabgrass coverage. We've done that the last couple of years. We've had fantastic results. You know, as long as you have a nice uh, thick lawn and you're mowing at a correct height, you're, you really shouldn't see uh, many issues with crabgrass in your lawn even when you do a split application like this. So that's something I wanted to cover. You know, it's uh, about negative 30 degrees wind chill right now outside so we're not doing much outside we're not even going out to the shop today we're just going to be doing things in the office up here uh, but we figure to be a good chance to kind of help educate uh, and communicate some of these things that we are thinking about and that we see going on here in the lawn care industry especially regarding crabgrass applications at the beginning of your lawn care season that's all for now